Hello everyone, for today's video, I'm going to review these two diamond fountain pen inks. This is Inferno Orange and this is Blue Flame. These two inks belong to the Shimmer Tastic series, which means they have shimmering particles added into the ink. So for Inferno Orange, we have these gold colored particles. I'm going to shake this. So that's how they look. Fountain pen ink reviews are pretty boring, so I'm going to talk about something else while drawing with the ink. So I'm going to open up Inferno Orange and use this pen that I'm going to talk about. This is the Sailor Cross Emperor fountain pen. So this tab here at the top, this is the Emperor tab. This can hold extra ink if you use this pen as a dip pen. And this pen works very effectively as a dip pen because of this Emperor tab and also because of the fit section here which can hold a lot of ink. You see the nib here? It's sliced into a cross. This is to provide extra ink flow. By the way, I have a dedicated review just for this pen that I have made a few years ago. If you are interested, you can check out the link to the review that's in the video description below. So today I'm going to be using this fountain pen as a deep pen. For today's video, I'm going to be drawing a ladybird or a ladybug. I think this is a very appropriate color to use to draw these beetles. The color is very nice, it's very intense orange. So one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this pen is because in October 2018, Sailor, the company that makes these fountain pens, they came out to say that they are going to be raising the prices for their specialty nib fountain pens, which is this. This is one of many specialty nib fountain pens that they make and they are raising the prices by quite a bit. So each pen, um, you can expect a price increase of up to 25,000 yen or 30,000 yen. That is about 225 US dollars. So that is a very steep price increase. They limited the production of such specialty nibs in 2015 because I think it's quite difficult to make them. And now in 2018, they came out to say that they are going to increase the prices, which is, wow. These are going to be very expensive. I'm very happy that I actually bought them when they were priced much lower. And this is a very nice fountain pen. The ink flow, as you can see, is fantastic. Now, this nib has a very broad nib, so you can use it to color certain areas like this. And if you tilt the pen like this, you can actually draw very thin lines like this. It's a pretty versatile pen. Can you see the gold shimmering particles that's under the Emperor tab there? And also in the feet section. So these particles may actually clog up your fountain pen, which is why I'm using this pen as a deep pen, so that I can clean this off easily later on. So that is a lot of particles. So that just uh, so I'm going to continue coloring this. This is almost done. I'm just going to add some black um, spots on this ladybird, ladybug later. So this is called a ladybird or a ladybug. What's it called in a country? This beetle has red, white, and black as its main color. So now I'm going to use this brush pen to add the black. I'm going to do it a bit carefully so as not to cover the line art that I have drawn. So the diamond ink Inferno Orange, it doesn't feather. The lines are quite sharp, quite hot on this paper that I'm using. This is actually watercolor paper with a fine grain texture. 
let me add some shadows with this brush pen that is filled with Lexington gray ink this ink is well it's a bit darker than I expected all right let's take a look at the ink and the back so inferno orange is actually more reddish than orange so in this area here we have the shimmering particles and also in this area here it is not easy to spread out those particles evenly so this area here you can see there is no shine and those particles they look like the color seems like gold the shine or the sparkle is more obvious at certain angles so these are the letters written with the ink there is not a lot of shine so the letters earlier did not have any sparkles but the strokes here you can see there are sparkles and here as well I've just cleaned my fountain pen under running water and it looks clean enough so now let's try the other color diamond blue flame so once again I'm going to dip this pen into the ink by the way these two inks were sent to me from a YouTube viewer thank you very much whoever you are and now I'm going to draw another bug I'm not sure what this bug is called so now I'm holding the pen rather vertically to get the thinner lines and now I'm going to tilt the pen slightly to get the thicker lines I think I may have drawn this bug um, inaccurately so we have the I'm not sure what this is called but I'm going to draw this with thin lines because this looks pretty thin and one at the bottom here oops this is a bit too thick I don't actually use this pen a lot because most of the time I'm drawing outdoors and because I'm drawing outdoors I don't bring this pen out for the fear of dropping it accidentally it would be very difficult to repair the nib if it did if it does drop onto the floor and this is an expensive fountain pen so the fountain pens that i bring out are the cheaper ones relatively speaking my favorite is the pelican m200 which you see quite often on my youtube channel I'm still using that pen but whenever I use this sailor fountain pen I have a tremendous sense of satisfaction because of the lines it can create so when you are using this fountain pen as a dip pen it can actually hold a lot of ink because the fit section behind it's huge and you have to consider that there is also the emperor tab on top which stores extra ink so you can keep drawing for a long time without having the need to refill it often okay let's color this bug oh i probably shouldn't have colored this area because this is supposed to be black this is a deep dark blue it actually reminds me of french ultramarine I happen to have this yellow marker so I'm going to use this to color this bug which is actually yellow in color all right um, this ink is I mean the ink the blue ink is definitely not waterproof so if you are going to be coloring like this you can expect the ink to the diamond ink to sort of feather so the blue has definitely affected my yellow so I'm going to switch over to a different marker. This is the Spectrum Noir metallic markers. They are opaque markers, so I'm going to just paint over the yellow. All right, I think this works really well because this looks like the same gold color that is inside the blue ink. 
So I'm going to just so I'm just going to touch up certain areas here. These are opaque markers, so I have to be careful not to cover the original line art. So this diamond ink, this is definitely not suitable for use with other water-based um, media. The last thing I want to do is to draw the black lines on this bark. Now this blue is quite dark, so if you are drawing black on this blue, the contrast is not that strong. And now I can paint the back of the bark with this black. So here we can see a huge patch of sparkling particles. As it reflects the light, this is more obvious. And if you are looking at it like this from the front, it's not that obvious. Let's take a look at the strokes. There are sparkle in the strokes as well, but not evenly distributed. Again, if you are just looking at it from the front, the sparkle is not that obvious. The color of the ink when it's wet compared to when it's dry, it's almost the same. There's not a lot of color shifting. So this drawing is not very nice because this is how the original looks. The blue here is much lighter and the orange is also much brighter. So my drawing is a bit dark. Fountain pen inks are usually dye-based inks, so they are not permanent. They are not light fast, so colors like this, they would probably fade in the future. But for writing purposes, um, I think they work pretty well. I like Inferno Orange. As for blue bark, I think this blue is a bit darker um, than I expected. This is a deep blue that I usually associate with other blue colored fountain pen inks. If you're interested to get these inks, you can get them through the Amazon affiliate links I have for you in the video description below. Each 50ml bottle is around US $20. So that's all for today's video review. If you have any questions, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, consider doing so for more art related and fountain pen drawing videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.